Hi, welcome to Grown Beauty. If you're new here, my name is Amanda, and I just started this channel so you guys can go on my makeup journey with me, so welcome. If you haven't subscribed, I'd love for you to click the subscribe button right now. There's one right here on the bottom, um, and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Grown Beauty. Today, I wanted to do something I haven't done yet on my channel. I want to do a look with some of my Jovia's Place stuff. I love Jovia's Place. Like, I've used it so many times, and I just haven't done it on the video on the channel yet because I just, I don't know why. Because I think I was wanting to get more products of theirs, but honestly, I only have the foundation, concealer, and three other palettes. So, um, but yeah, we're just gonna do, you know, use what we do have, and I'll kind of give you a little bit of information about what I know. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So I've already prepped my skin with the Clinique Moisturizer. I'll have to put it on the screen because I can't remember the exact name. For the um, primer, I'm going to use the First Aid Beauty Pores Be Gone Matte Primer. And I'm just going to rub this in. And I really do like this primer. I got it in um, one of my bags. Yeah, one Ipsy. I my Ipsy bag. And um, I really do like it. It feels really good on the skin. I don't wear a ton of matte stuff, but um, I do like this for when I do have the matte stuff. Okay, for the foundation, I'm using the Jovia's Place. It is called I Am Magic Velvety Matte Foundation. And this is in 730 Isla, I-S-L-A. Um, I actually found out about this from Nikki Tutorials. I saw her using it, and we have a similar skin tone. She may be a little bit more red than me, but I'm, I'm definitely pretty much a pink or a neutral. So I was like, oh, that seems like the right color. And then I took a little quiz on their site, and then it seemed to work out. So we'll see how it looks on the camera, because I've found that a lot of times um, things look different on the camera. And look, see how much coverage. Like, I just did a little tiny bit on my hand. And um, I'm using, uh, you know, my Wonder Complexion Foundation Brush from EcoTools. Just a little six, seven dollar brush, and it actually has really good coverage. I don't really usually go for matte foundations, um, and this is probably my favorite one. And one thing um, about Jovia's Place, that's really cool. They're a black-owned company, and they have colors that start darkest and then go down to the lightest. And that you don't see that with a lot of companies. Um, but I do like their stuff. I love their eyeshadows. Their eyeshadows are probably my second favorite brand of eyeshadows. Colourpop's my first. They off. So, and this is the concealer. It is number 24. And it comes in this this deal. Because I have dry eyelids, I usually do just put the rest of the concealer I have on my eyelids. If you have oily eyelids, I wouldn't do that. That's just my non-professional opinion. I'm going to go ahead and put some of the NYX. You guys should know this by now. I like this a lot. Look, it just helps my colors glide on. Okay, for my brows, I'm gonna go ahead and do those. This is the Elf Brow Kit Medium. And I'm just going to use a little bit of this um, airspun from Cody, Cody, from Cody. I'm just using a little bit. Okay. Just kind of put it where I feel like I need it. Because I have, really, like I said, I've said that a thousand times on this channel, I have really dry skin. So, uh, next I'm going to use the Wonder Beauty Coat for Two. And so I'm just going to use this Bellini. I'm 
a really pretty deep color. I feel like it would go well. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to use the white sculpt from this Profusion Highlight and Contouring palette. Um, just the middle one, I'll put it up on the screen. Um, I'm just going to contour just the tiniest bit. Because this is kind of the medium color in here, so it's not going to show up too, too much, but it'll, it'll help maybe a little bit. I'm gonna use Impulse, just this one, because I've used it a lot. Since I've already put the eyeshadow primer on, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the palettes. So, in case you guys have never seen um, any of these palettes, I only have three from Jovia's Place, but I really love the three that I have. Um, I'll go ahead and show you what they are. And I'm really bad about like picking up another palette when I have makeup on my hands, so they, they are a little bit dinged up. Um, but it's not like I'm ever going to resell it because I use these a lot. This is the Nubian 2 by Jovia's Place. And I just think it's really, the, the color is really pretty. I love the green, the blue, and, and the goldish yellow. Um, and they just, I just love the, the palette. I think it's so pretty. Also have the Zulu by Jovia's. This one my daughter kind of got into a little bit, so you can tell. But it has all the bright colors. I think the packaging, the art, and the look is really pretty too. Um, and then I also have the Masquerade Mini by Jovia's, and um, like a fallout or whatever. And these the pans are smaller in these, but I actually don't mind because you get more colors. See. So if you can tell, you know, the pans are probably about half, half the size, maybe, I'm just guessing. But um, I love the colors in this, they're so pretty. So for the base color, I'm just going to use, in the Nubian 2, I'm going to use Zuri. It's this one. And I'm just going to put that on my lid. And it's pretty much the color of my skin and everything, but it's a good base color to put down. I'm really trying not to do the same thing I always do because I always do pink, purple, or blue. So I'm really trying not to, but this color, there's this color called Zobo, and then there's one called Bori, and they're pink, and they're so pretty, and I love them. Bori has like little sparkles in it, so maybe I could use it as like an accent top. So I think I'm going to do some green today. I'm going to use this one. It's called Mali. I guess how you say M-A-L-I. It's this green right here. I love this color green too. It's like really, it's just beautiful. It's like emerald green. I don't have a mirror right here with me, so I'm gonna use the little mirror on this. I'm really trying not to, but I just really want to use this pink so bad I can't stand it. So um, I'm going to use some of the Zobo. It's this one right here. So it might look a little purple to you guys, but it's, I don't know, it's like a dark pink. Like they're so pretty and they're just the I don't know just the way they come off like but and and their prices are really not that bad they have sales pretty much anytime there's a holiday okay next I am going to use from the Zulu by Jovia's this one does not have names 
I'm gonna use this yellow right there. We're just gonna go all out today, okay? I know it seems like a lot. I love yellow, like I think it's just so pretty. I'm gonna put it, hmm. I feel like I kinda wanna like put it right here in the, ooh. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm sorry guys, like I haven't done this combination yet and I'm kind of like loving it. Oh yeah, that's like so pretty. I need to blend out the edges a lot more, but I'm kind of loving this. This is like not even a little bit. Who at this all looks okay? For the most part. Put my edge at this eye. It almost look, looks like a tie dye, but I tie dye my eyes. <laughs> and I'm gonna take a small brush and I'm gonna go into Bori. That's the the pink one that's got the little speck sparklies in it. And uh, let's go to them here. Okay, so I went ahead and put mascara primer and mascara on because I thought I was recording and I wasn't, so I'm sorry. But I used the L'Oreal Voluminous uh, Primer and then I used the Petite and Pretty Mascara. I'm just trying to use up the rest of this. Um, I like it better than I did. I think, honestly, since it's clumped up a little bit, it seems to work better. I know it's weird. So, I just thought I'd tell you guys that's what Okay, and since I'm going for more of a colorful look. I'm going to use this Lime Crime. I cannot see the name of that. I will put this on the screen. This is like so small I cannot see the name of that. And I'm just using this as a base, kind of. These are matte and I found that I like them, but they're not really a standalone color. I just feel like it kind of washes me out. It's NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. It's this one. And I will put the name on the screen. Ooh, that's pretty. A lot of times this is what I do with quilts. I will put one color down, put another color on top of it. Kind of see how it looks. And it looks okay. I'm like, oh, it works. I know it maybe it would look odd to some of y'all, but I mean, I think it, it kind of does work and looks cute and actually like my headband is like kind of spacey looking. I kind of look like a little space cadet or something, don't I? But yeah. But yeah, I just want to share that with you. I really love Jovia's place and um, they have a lot of good products. They have some new palettes out. They have a lot of really, really pretty palettes. And like I said, you know, if you go to their website, you can always sign up for the newsletter and um you'll be able to you know get updates when they have sales or whatever so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys can follow me on instagram and twitter at grown beauty and if you haven't already subscribed hit the subscribe button it really means a lot um i really thank you so much for watching and supporting me and it just really means so much because i work really hard on the channel and i know i don't post two or three times a week like some people do i post when i can uh, but it's something I really actually enjoy and I've, you know, been learning new skills through it, like, you know, video editing. So thanks so much and I hope you have a good weekend.